Hello, everybody. Welcome back <laughs> to uh, the competitive multiplayer series with myself, Heavy Metal Gaming, and Richard H. We are just trying to get some of our log pile cut up here because we need to make a little bit of money. Oh, well, that's the end of that one. Well, that's unfortunate. But yeah, we're just gonna zippy doo da -doo along here. Cut these up real quick. And go make us a little bit of money to start our day because I picked up a contract that I need a new piece of equipment for. And technically, we can afford that new piece of equipment right now. But if we buy it, we will have no monies left at all. Which means we won't be able to pay our hired help. Alrighty. So I'm going to just crack along at this. And rather than boring you guys with it, I will bring you back when we are close to a full load and ready to head down and sell it. We just had a visitor. Richard swung by real quick. I don't know what he wanted. He didn't say anything. Oop. All right. Just out of habit, I just did that again. I, you guys saw me doing that last episode, but not doing it this time. Gray. So gray, white, gray is no super strength. I keep bumping the super strength button by accident. Um, but I am only picking up logs that I can pick up by hand right now. And uh, I just wanted to show Richard that. If he happens to have wondered why I was carrying logs around. These ones are the ones that I can pick up by hand. There are other ones on here that I use the machine for. But right now... Just picking up the ones by hand. Next one's probably too heavy. Yep, next one's too heavy. So, just getting the, the smaller ones cleaned up before I go grab the machine again. Whoop, bounced that one a little, didn't I? All right, again, I will bring you back when I'm ready to go sell them. All right, we're dropping the last couple on that we're using the skid steer for right now I could definitely fit more on on that other side but with the way I parked the trailer it's very difficult to get them up there and this is going to be plenty for us especially since I threw why won't it let me oh it does let me grab it I was going to say why won't it let me grab that little piece <laughs> without super strength that was weird for a minute uh, but anyway, um, uh, straps, there they are. I'm going to run over here real quick. We're going to park on the wrong side of the road as we grab these. Bad timing there, Mr. Carr. And now for the long drive over to the sawmill. So I will chat with you guys once again when we're over there. This isn't the sawmill, but I remembered that we're on another day. So there should be space in the productions again. Let's see if that gets everything. Come on, where's the... There it is. Really? Alright. 
that's weirdness. Oh, duh, because it's full. So there wasn't a lot of space, obviously. But there was some. So now we're off to the sawmill. And I'll see you guys there. Alright, we got rest <clears throat> rid of the rest of the wood for 23, almost 24,000, plus almost 2,000 of environmental. And uh, yay with all the strap noises. And I was doing some auto drive work, obviously. I had this guy actually driving over here on auto drive, but I was doing other auto drive work. Oh. Oh. Do I have the route going? No, I do have it going around. Okay. That would have been bad if I had the route going right over that. But we now have enough money. Woo! We now have enough money that when I get this truck back, we can... Actually, I can put the truck on autopilot to the store. Truck, you go. And while he's driving, we will shop. So we're going to go in here. And you guys may recognize this from my vintage survival series, but we're going to buy this guy. Big old cotton harvester. Um, we don't want any of those. Oh, but I think we'll go with a green color. No, not that green, though. No. How about that blue? I like that blue. Yeah, that green. That'll do. Thought that was the one I clicked on the first time, but apparently not. With that green as an accent. I like it. So we're going to buy that. We're going to go back. We're going to hit combinations. Um, these should be exactly the same. Let's get the UK version. We want the big engine. 80 horsepower or 105, we will take the 105. I mean, it sure doesn't hurt to have that on the front end so that it can be used for things other than than the giant cotton harvester. Yeah, I can afford it. We're going to put narrows on it? Nah, don't need to. Hood. Ha, ah, that's funny. Um, colored roof. Okay, otherwise the roof is white. And we'll go colored. Extra lights. I like all the extra lights. Modification. No. Front attach. Oh, pin hitch. Yeah, we can have that pin hitch in there because we can take the front three-point off. Um, yes, we want a mirror. Yeah, we definitely want a mirror. It's the only two options, yes. No number. Up to, we will go with a seven because seven's my favorite number. Oh, wait. I don't, oh, there's the number. Flags, we don't want flags. GPS, we can't afford right now. I mean, actually, we could, but don't need to. This is going to mostly be on a worker. That is hideous. We'll go with that. We'll make the rim color... That's basically the same color. I'll make the rim color the accent there. Interior color. That's 
that's not an orange, dude. That's a brown. Yeah, there we go. Front tool color. Let's have it be black. Additional tanks. We won't be putting those on. All right. Now we buy that. And that's a... Wow, and he made it down here while we were doing that. Cool. All right, so... This is a very funky thing. And I'm going to have to go immediately take that front three-point off. We paid for it, but we got to take it off. But it means we can put it back on whenever we want to. Customize. And it took it off. And changed our engine? No. Just took that off as far as I can tell. Sweet. All right. So customize that. Now I got to remember exactly how you use this thing because it's been a while. I think you just back into it and it hooks up. So I guess I could have left the three point on after all. For some reason I was thinking I went inside of it underneath. But that's not accurate. Um That's not right. Did that really just take my real wheels off that it's not supposed to take off? Or did they go in the ground? They went in the ground because it flipped out. No, they're really gone. Where the hell are my tires? Ignore the slightly cheating use of super strength. This is obviously a something broken here. Um, customize. Yeah, it's supposed to have tires. None of those tires are supposed to go away. It's broken. So you will not recognize it from my Vintage Survival Series. Because I haven't bought it there yet. And it's broke as hell. So I won't be. And I'm going to take a loss here, unfortunately. That was about a $5,000 total loss. That's enough to make a guy angry. And it's unfortunate, too, because I already grabbed that contract for that field right there. That's depressing. That's what I get for putting the cart before the horse. I just didn't want it to go away while I was getting the equipment sorted out. Um, yes, I am going to make auto drive down to my second plot there. Well, 
I guess, since the cotton is a no-go. Boy, that's really upsetting. <laughs> I used that exact piece of equipment back on Lucas Island in FS19. And um, it was great. It worked really good. Unfortunately, it looks like it must have been converted without thorough testing. Let's get this whole kit and caboodle done here. I guess that means we can cancel this field and just get back to doing the, the grindy work. See you guys in a bit. So we, we have taken over from the AI worker that was driving this carting tractor and doing a terrible job of it. Kept jackknifing the trailers by trying to reverse. Um... But uh, the reason we're taking over is because, well, we're on the last row, for one. For two, the tractor was trying to head off to unload. Oof. And for three, it can't reach the unload point. I can't remember if I mentioned this earlier or not, but there is some kind of auto drive issue headed north towards Richard's area. And I'm not sure what it is. So it, it's somewhere around the bridge. I'm guessing I must have accidentally disconnected part of it or something. But we're going to take it upon ourselves to fix that while we're out and about. A little further. Come on, a little further to the right. A little further. Wiggle those trailers. Without whacking the combine. <laughs> so I have our Massey Ferguson tractor, the articulated one, off doing a job as well. And boy, that's terrible that we can't fit the rest of this in here. Oh well. That's okay. Um, it's off doing some fertilizing contracts. It already did field seven, which is the far side of the road ahead of us right now. And it needs to do four as well, which is the green growing one over there to our right, I believe. Yes. But it's, uh, down in the southeast corner of the map right now doing field 52 and then it's going to go to the east side of the map and do fields 42 and 43 if memory serves and then it'll come back here and do four at least that's the plan but in the future i'm going to have multiple towing vehicles well that was fun I hope I only lost a few seconds of video. Uh, I filled up my drive. My four terabyte external drive filled. Um, because of... Uh, okay, so we're already past the breakage. That's good to know. That means it's behind us right there uh because i forgot to delete old footage that's long since been uploaded and make space and because i render at uh 4k my video files tend to be very very large 
But yeah, as I was saying, there's a break in the auto drive somewhere where it's not working correctly to get us to our destinations. I'm not seeing a break though, but I wonder if one of these accidentally got connected the wrong direction. So far, all seems well. Uh huh. Boop. How the heck did that happen? That got turned into a reversing one. And was going the wrong way. That's flaky. But I'm glad I found it. Now I can kick this guy off. To the grain mill and I will be back with you guys shortly so as I uh, drive this up to get started on the next couple of fields and I was wrong it's 41 42 not 42 43 but uh, I should say that today is Mother's Day here in the United States, and I took the little John Deere 111, or Triple One, whatever you want to call it, I prefer 111, uh, up to deliver it to my mother, and um, she was quite happy with it, and we have some footage of that, and I will be sharing it, it will be... What for me is tomorrow night's video, for you guys, this the video will have long since happened. Um, obviously, it's May 12th. You guys are probably not going to see this video for three months, probably. Um, depending on how things work out. But, yeah. So, anyway, as I was saying, uh, she was extremely happy with with it. We took turns disking her garden with it, which is going to be one of its two primary purposes. And, um, yeah, it, it was a nice little trip. I did not take any of the dogs because the last time that I took them for a longer ride in my pickup, the twins threw up all over the back seat and the passenger side front seat. And I had to shampoo the seats. I had to buy a shampooer and shampoo the seats. Um, and that, that was a lot of money I didn't want to spend and a pain in the butt. But at least, at least I got the truck clean. And I'll be able, I will take them again. And I have the thing now for the future if they vomit again. Which they probably will until they get used to going for vehicle rides. That's really all it is. Is that they're just not used to it. Oh, fun. The dairy. We're going in right across the road from the dairy. And I'm going to do this kind of funny. I'm ignoring the... Which one was this? This is 41. Field 41. Yeah, I'm trying, as I do contracts on fields that I haven't been to, I'm trying real hard to uh, make the uh, auto drive. Now, of course, this one's going to be funny because it's going to be the only route for a minute here. But I'm pretty much the only one who uses this. Richard is in my field. Why is Richard in my field? <laughs> Where is the entrance to that field? Seriously, where's the entrance? Here? 
good enough. Good enough for government work. And for me, too. There's probably a proper entrance somewhere else. But, uh... I wasn't seeing it. And I wasn't waiting. So, field 40. Thing is, we can always make another one. want that or that or that I don't want that or that I want to go straight from there to there and from there to there because I'm gonna make this two ways Yeah, I kind of took a real lackadaisical, curvy way in here, didn't I? That's all right. Come on. And then we just start a new recording and go from there to there. And that's how we start our route going the other way. I do love my auto drive. You guys know that. And the reason why I'm showing it so much is to hopefully highlight the difference in what you can do between my playstyle and Richard's playstyle. You get to see two ways of doing things. I am more about farm management and having lots of uh, AI workers as long as they're the higher quality AIs from the scripts auto driving course play um, whereas Richard is more about doing a lot of the work himself now I definitely do plenty of the work myself uh, as well it's just if I'm over on the other lot doing you know the logging it's nice to have AI workers out f doing farming tasks making me money and we need to get to the end of this so that I can actually get this AI working <laughs> making me that money We should be getting close to reconnecting here shortly. I like that little pond we just drove by. I'd like to live in that house right there. As long as I can own a big chunk of land. Clear some of it for farming. <laughs> you know, right? Oh. Oh. Well, here we go. We'll get our connection made. That should do. Give me my mouse, please.
and now we can spin around like this make the traffic happy we'll go past the driveway so it doesn't try to do something goofy all right and now we go on here uh course play well oops i didn't mean to do that and we want to create job put our field position right there do our course generation and don't start job because we go here to our auto drive set our auto drive we need to move the fields there and there and there and which one is further south 41 so we want to go to 41 first oh yeah I gotta fix these going for a three digit I'm not in the habit yet whoops but I will be one of these days oh dang it I just hit back instead of rename and then 41 sweet so what we do is we hit turn that off hit the course play icon and then hit the go button now he's gonna drive or she to field 41 on the auto drive and then start the work and we Oh, nice so I was right about where the come on I think my center button on my mouse is failing you know what? let's just remove that one and move this one farther out and connect those up like that move that one farther out as well all right so if I take over from this guy so I didn't get paid for that but I didn't get any contract notifications either But I just missed them, that's all. Well, I don't know where the uh where the dump point is at then. I put a question mark on that because I wasn't sure where the dumping point was at. Because there's no grate on the ground here. Mm. I apparently have a contract on that field right there, though. I don't remember taking one on 32. That's funny. Yeah, nothing. Well, that's kind of weird. All right, we will have this guy hoof it back to the farm. Uh, the farm, the farm. We'll check on this guy on accident. <laughs> We're going to get rid of this worker. So we have a little bit of sorghum left. Um,
in that trailer there's 63 liters in the combine here is 670 so a little over 700 liters I'm thinking about getting a small and I do mean small chicken pen just to get started with some chickens we'll put it over on our new plot maybe Or in the corner of the field there. I guess I don't need these open anymore. You know, I'm going to put it back in that little triangle back there. That little bit of useless land. Behind the sheep. Oh, we're getting into the evening now. Where's my other header? There it is. Might as well get attached to it. We're going straight into the corn in the next episode. We should have already harvested it, but just too many things going on. I sh shouldn't have accepted harvesting contracts is the problem. So it's entirely my fault, but... I took them, and the money was good, so... Oh, that's... I meant to hit the next button over. To unfold the head off. And... Uh-oh. I hope that's not a sign of my steering wheel screwing up again. Uh, animals. Shikhans. How about free range? Overlap them a little bit that way. Heck yeah. Well, we'll get ourselves one rooster, and start out with 10 hens, I ah, better go 20, they're cheap. <laughs> and this guy's going to be in the way. Of our tractor whenever it finally gets back here. So the next episode we'll have the AI doing the... corn harvest and we will be overdoing the bailing at least to start and then we will come and cart for the AI Where is my tractor? He should be getting close. Well, there's a Richard in the road. 
There's a Richard in the road. We can outrun our tractor. <laughs> this is going to be a lot of me jibber-jabbering this episode, I think. I've been talking a lot. Probably a slightly longer episode. No time lapses either. Come on. Is Richard actually in the road? That is all I want to know. And I didn't have a convenient teleportation spot next to him. I don't believe he is. He is not, and he's getting ready to move right now anyway. All right. I'll let him know it's time. And as always, thank you all for watching, and I'll see you on the next one.